Hi, I'm Dr. Roger Webb, and this is another Tree Tech Tips, and today we're going to talk about how to install the micro-injection unit. Now, when you order these units, they're available in 25, 50, or 100-unit cartons. The uh, carton itself contains literature, a how-to sheet. Uh, it will contain a, a label, whether it's a fertilizer label or a pesticide label. It'll come with a plastic uh, collection bag, because after the injection, you'll have something to put your used units in. Besides the injection units themselves, we also provide a bag of tips, and the tips are very important in the placement of the fluid in the injection hole, which you're about to drill, uh, as well as release of the fluid from the unit. Now, the first thing you would do before you start anything is to read the carton label, and there, particularly, the requirements by EPA for the wearing of your PPE, your personal protective equipment, and that includes long sleeve shirt, long pants, shoes, socks, eyewear, and chemical resistant gloves as a minimum. This will avoid any contamination you may get from the fertilizers or particularly pesticides that you use. Remember, pesticides are dangerous. You must read the label for the particular safety requirements of the product you're using and any first aid that may be necessary should you have a spill or should you become contaminated. Uh, also let me emphasize that our products, the pesticide products, are sold only to commercial applicators and you must have a valid uh, state pesticide applicators license. If you have any questions about that, simply contact your State Department of Agriculture and they ask for someone in the pesticide division who can then direct you to your state's requirements for licensing. Now, when you receive these units, uh, they will be in the uncompressed state. Uh, you will take a, one of our tips and put on the unit. You will look for the rear end, which has two scalloped points. The rear end of this tip then is inserted in the neck of the conical end of the unit. And you'll notice that the liquid in the unit at this stage does not extend into the collar zone because there is a plastic disc, a septum there, which prevents the, the flowing of the liquid at this stage. Later during the activation and installation, that septum will be torn away and the liquid will then flow. We'll also pressurize the unit by, pr by pressing this plunger down into the unit and then you'll have uh, 10 pounds of air pressure above and behind the fluid. All right, so now let me go through this uh, step by step so you can see how this is done. <music>